I want to go through, I don't know if you realize like the gauntlet of playoff matchups that you went through from the time you ended with Boston to Memphis, but in a four year oh, playoff know. stretch, Kobe, LeBron, Durant, Ginobili, Wade, you said you're a big film guy. So I know you have the scattering reports. I want to go kind of rapid fire. What is like the one to two sentence scattering report okay, with go each ahead. of these guys? And we're going to go, go down ahead, the list. One. Let's the start with one to let's, one. Let's, yeah. yeah you. No, I got let's, you. I got let, you. Let's start with Cleveland LeBron. So the end of your Boston tenure, what was the Cleveland LeBron scouting report? Well, at the time, I must say his game wasn't as advanced as it is now. Uh, I really wasn't worried about him posting me because he didn't have a post game at the time. And the scouting report was basically go up under all the pick and rolls. He's going to Get about 40 to 50 pick and rolls a game. So be ready to fight up under it. If he's in transition and he's in the pick and roll, fight over the top. And you know, you're gonna have your help. Cause we was going we wasn't sagging on him. We was we was like corralling on what they call that uh show. We was, mm-hmm. we, was we was um we was like soft mm-hmm. show, maybe. And um and if he if he shoot the jump shot, we living with that. You can't do that now, though. I can't say we can't do that now. <laughs> He's also not moving quite as fast. True. Or no, he's he picking his spots. He picking his spots. Uh, Kevin Durant, OKC. He said he named you as the toughest defender. He said uh, Tony Allen had me thinking about my offense differently. If I'm going to shoot it. I'm in the lane. I'm going to go. Uh, Allen was cutting shit off, denying the ball for me, got into my pocket. So I needed to find different setups. I started working on preparation before I catch the ball, just small parts of the game. I felt like yeah. he was teaching me all that little shit. Didn't I just say that shit? Hey, yeah, so look. Man, yeah. No, for real, <laughs> you just said that. So look, with, with, with KD, I knew I didn't have a snowball chance in hell if he caught that ball. Let's just keep it right there. He's seven foot. If he bagged me down and spin, I can't contest. So my whole thing was... I knew Russell Westbrook. Listen, I knew Russell Westbrook. Shout out to Russ. I knew I, w- I would talk shit to Russ, right? I would talk shit to Russ, right? And I knew he all in his mind, he like, I got Mike Conley sticking me. Why y'all not coming to me? And so we know Kevin Durant is the first option, right? I would deny him. Boxing one. So if they would run a, let's just say they run a pick and roll with Ibaka. Mm-hmm. Ibaka, I'm not stunned towards you. You can go get you a dunk, but Kevin Durant isn't touching it. So now when Coach Brooks would call up, uh, let's get this play to Kevin Durant, they would like run a pin down. I'm lock, I'm not even locking in trail. I'm shooting through the through the uh I'm shooting through the pick, getting low with my shoulder, and keep staying in my deny, being physical and Russell Westbrook would hate when I get them steals from Chris. He, he, he used he to used throw to them blindly because so, that's a hell of a target. Yeah, he, or he'll yep. float them. Or mm-hmm. he'll float them. I try to float them. I, and by that time, I didn't got so physical with with uh, Durant that I didn't push it off of Durant. Got the steal. We going the other way. But uh, I thought he always got his numbers. Let's just say that he always got his numbers. But it, he just wasn't effective as he wanted to be, simply because, like I say, I got closer to the screen on him. You get what I'm saying? I got, I got ready to deny. And more importantly, I studied those guys' plays and what they would do. Like I would I would when they call out the offense, I'm telling Mike, that's a that's a fluff screen. Hey Zebo, be ready for the flare. I'm going over. You get what I'm saying? I knew the plays way before then. You know what I'm saying? I would tell uh who who I tell. I tell Mark, I say Mark, you got backside. I'm I'm fighting over this. When the road comes, just that's tag. Don't worry about that's that's t- kick uh, it. Kick it, Rasheed Wallace. Uh, all right, all right, yeah. T.I., he about to come down over there. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the old school. Oh, it's very discouraging. Yeah, it's very discouraging. Every very team, discouraging. actually, for a while, like when I was – every team had one, a player like that. It was Rasheed, a KG got it, like it used to be uh, a T.A., you know what I mean? There's a couple players, like we call a player, and they'll be like, hey, that's 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 so-and-so. And even if they heard something they didn't know, hey, that's new. <laughs> hey, what, hey, take this down. <laughs> that's, that's new. new. Hey, hey, John, hey, y'all record yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Durant was – he was yeah. a problem. Let's just say he was definitely a problem. Mono Ginobili. Mm. Mono Ginobili. Mono Ginobili. Ah. Uh, I, I always lived with forcing them right. I, I tried my best with forcing them right. I knew he wasn't stronger than me. He wasn't gonna. He wasn't gonna like put me in a, a, a situation where he had to dis like had put me at like he had the advantage. It was more so like I right, he need a pick, and I'm forcing him right. You get what I'm saying? I'm and stay down on the head fake because if he drive and he step back, he gonna head fake try to get that 
and he was real like like slithery, and you know what I'm saying. So I was just matching his intensity as much as I can. Uh, Dwayne Wade, mm. Flash, big shout out to Flash, man, Chicago kid. Um, but Flash, it was just more so, you know, like it was more so like LeBron, go up under all the screens, uh, you know, try to stay out of foul trouble, stay down on his head fakes, uh, and in transition. You know, try your best to keep up with him. For mo- for the most part, Flash always got to that line. He and he, what, one thing I like about Flash, he play off the ball just as good he as he play on the ball. So you might think you might shut him down with that p- in the pick and roll. We might you know I want to say, I won't say shut him down, but we could contain him in the yeah. pick and roll, and he'd probably be one for five, right? But he also could go get three putbacks and three back doors. And get to the line four times before you look up. He got eighteen points. Hey, T, how come man? he doesn't get enough credit for being a defensive guard that he was? Because I know he's. Remember, he was going around. He blew my shit up one time that I in Atlanta. I wasn't expecting. <laughs> remember, he was going around beating all the Dwight Howard and every big dude that could jump, dunk. How come he? How come yeah, he doesn't yeah. get enough credit uh, 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 defensively as he was as far as known for his? Was he was he up there? Do you feel like he was up there as, as a top defender as the guards, or you feel like he? he who's underappreciated or is there some other people that definitely okay. underappreciated, yeah. definitely underappreciated, but more so than anything, I don't think he, he, he didn't play defense for the whole game type, yeah, there you of, go. type of player. He was, he was, he was a, he was a, Get okay. A stop when you needed a stop. Uh, we, da- we, yeah, we down three. Uh, I need to, we need to get this stop. Somebody got a wide open layup or or big, like you say, about to go bang out. I'm gonna come from behind, block it, get back, get the ball, go get the and one. Now it's yeah. tied up. Like now we got a that's chance fair. to win the ball yeah. game with him, with him with the ball that's in his fair. hand. Like that's that's the type of that's the type of player yeah. he was. Yep. Last but not least, Kobe Bryant. He said that oh, he also man. named you as his toughest matchup. Everyone knows, but he said he never heard you ask for help. Which probably is where most people are probably asking for help when they're on an island with Kobe Bryant. Yeah, yeah, and 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 you hear it so much. So it it be like times where you know guys get put in the post, and you know Kobe was a great post player. A lot of people don't even really know that his footwork out of the post is down there like Elijah mm-hmm. Wan. You know what I mean? I mean he could catch it, spin, go baseline. Catch it, spin, spin, then spin the opposite way, come back. He has so many counter moves, Ridiculous. and if he if he smelled any blood, the first thing he would do is he he'll pound your chest in like with his shoulder, throw his elbow, pound your chest in, throw it with his like his whole body just and try to get the get mm-hmm. to the fadeaway where you can't even contest. And my whole thing was I was like, yo, I lift too many damn weights for him to be throwing his mm. shoulder in my chest and me calling for help. Like I don't need no help. I got this. My team depending on me for this. And like I said, back to confidence, back to not getting discouraged. I wanted to be the one that people say, you know what, T.A., man, you, you did a good job on Kobe. And after each game, after each game, after each game, after each game, it, 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 it put fuel to my fire to go out there and compete. And I was like, yo, I, I'm, I'm going to get my rest, and I think I think I got mm-hmm. it. I, I, I think I got mm-hmm. him tonight. But it would always be that head fake, head fake, and you fall for the head fake. He like, got the no, triple head yeah, fake yeah. though. That's not. It's not fair. <laughs> quadruple. quadruple. It, it, it might be a quadruple. He got head it out the three point line and shit. It's like, come on, bro. And you know yeah. it's coming. You know yeah. it's coming. And but like I say, I would never get discouraged mm-hmm. if he hit five, six, seven in the room. I'm giving him that same energy. I'm bo- and it's like, damn, like when he's trying to box out. When you boxing out, he throwing his elbow in your neck. He, so I got to meet that same intensity. And I wanted to be always the one riding for my team. Like, I'm not scared of him, man. And I done seen some guys look at that man and just say, you know, here you go, go on to the rim. I didn't want to be that guy. But uh, if I can put words in, in the one uh, one one sentence, I'll say uh, unstoppable, man. <laughs> unstoppable. You can't – look, you can't you, – look, it, I'm talking early in – you you couldn't go under the nope. pick and roll. He had a post game. Most definitely. And it was one time he, he was averaging down there 38, 40 points you a game in one month. You talking about Swole Kobe when he was like 240? Swole. What about Swole B yeah. when he was running around and you couldn't get physical with him or do nothing? Exactly. 
Come on, man. Yeah. All that, man. I'm, and, and let me get, I don't know if y'all know this. You know, let me give you some quick trivia. You know, Kobe Bryant fouled me out in eight minutes. Six fouls in eight minutes. What did he get you that. with the hair fake? So I was, <laughs> man, I was just nervous, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, damn, I'm actually running up against this yeah. dude. And from that point on, I always look back at that. And I was like, yo, that'll never happen to me again. You Six get what I'm saying? In eight minutes. Man, that was crazy. <laughs> that's he crazy. He crazy. And I chamber. said, he had you in the chamber, T.A. That was your first matchup against them. Yeah. So it was like, so it was like, yeah, are you, you mm -hmm. just looked it up? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was nervous. I was nervous.